Hi, I'm Louisa Zisman and welcome back to my weekly update of the stocks and share value of our lovely housemate. I'm going to start off with Pauline who this week was evicted. Bye Pauline, we won't miss you. My first housemates whose value has gone up this week is Matthew. I love to hate him but it seems the housemates are all over him like a bad rash. My next housemate is Marlon. He's had middle ground. He hasn't risen or fallen in his value in the house. I'm going to put him slap bang in the middle. The next housemate who has definitely fallen in this week is Stephen. I love you Stephen but your shares have plummeted. Plummeted because you're a plum. Your sycophantic attitude towards Pauline's backside is grossing me out. My next housemate is Helen. She has been blacklisted on the market. She is a big, fat, nasty person and I don't like her. She's going below the bad week and I wish we could take her past to the final away. Danielle, I don't like her. She's not whiter than white like she makes out. However, she has gone up in housemates estimation and I think she's recovered herself slightly with the public. So her value has risen very slightly. She was here, but we're seeing a slight peak in her popularity. She's still in the red zone though. Next up is Angelic Ashley with a halo shining over her head. She still remains at the very top of our chart. She can't do no wrong because she has no personality. Next up is Wide Boy Winston. I love him, he's a cheeky chappy, he's cute, his share value is on the increase. We've seen great, great increase to his market value and he's on the up. It's been a good week for you, Winston. Now, it's been a bad week for Christopher inside the house, but I think a good week on the outside. I think we've seen his value increase very slightly. He is unfortunately the new Jale of the house and seems to be a bit of a target for the mean housemates. But I'm going to put him in a good week. I like him and I think we're going to see him in the final. Come on, Christopher. Next up, it's Hot Hunk Ash. That's about all he is though. He's a hot hunk. That's it. He has no personality. I think it's been a bad week for him, especially after we heard him speaking about girls in a really, really atrocious way. So Ash, your shares have bottomed out and you're having a bad week. Next up, it's Jale. She has been the ultimate scapegoat for all the housemates, taking out all their nasty, mean frustrations on her. However, she's had a pretty good week in light of public opinion of her, and therefore, I'm putting her right up here. Next up, it's little cracker Kimberly. I especially liked it when she stood up to Marlon and pulled him to one side and pulled him up on his disgraceful piggish behaviour towards women. So Kim, you're having a good week? Keep on going girl. I think we could see her as one of the last girls standing. Next up, it's everyone's favourite weirdo, Chris. I love him. I think his power trip was amazing. I think he went up in everyone's estimations on the outside and his value has definitely increased. Well done, Chris. Keep up the good work. Next up is Perfect Eyebrows Mark. We haven't seen him rise or fall this week. He's definitely playing a middle ground here. What way he's gonna go, only time will tell. He's going right next to Marlon in a nice little happy, happy twosome. Next up, it's terrible Toya. Dun, 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 she's coming for you. She has really gone down, I think, in everyone's estimations on the outside and on the inside. She's turning out to be not a very nice person and is actually quite delusional with her argumentative personality. I'm not keen on Toya, I don't think you are either and I don't think the guys in the house are. She's hit rock bottom this week along with Helen. The terrible two together. So that's my roundup of the housemates values this week. Tune in next week for me where I'll be updating you once again with the rise and fall of the housemates.